Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Elise. I'm Michelle. I'm Marin. And I'm Seth. And we are Snooze You Lose, an alarm clock app that integrates students' needs to wake up on time and advertisers' needs to advertise in a new and interesting way. So the first thing we did was meet with Jeremy Ferry. He's the general manager at Carolina Coffee Shop. And he needed a way to rebrand after they lost $40,000 in the red last year. And he wanted to find a way to grow and maintain a customer base of college students and somehow find a way to make Carolina Coffee Shop part of their daily routine. So another student we met with was De Deanna Fayette, and she needed motivation to wake up. She wanted incentive to wake up on time and get to all the places she needed to be as a busy business student and Arabic student. Um, and here's a look at her schedule. She has a lot coming up. And she doesn't have much of a lunch break, so she usually doesn't have time to go back to her house. She lives off campus and um, needs to get food on the go. So we needed a way to cater to this busy lifestyle. So to give you a better understanding of our customer segmentation, there are about 95 restaurants in downtown Chapel Hill. Restaurants are looking for new ways to better advertise to their consumers through technology. Our next customer segmentation is college students. Here at UNC, there are about 18,000 UNC undergraduate students. College students like Deanna are looking for new ways to better budget their time and also budget their money. The average millennial spends about $3,000 per year on $3,000 per year on food. We wanted to refine our market to college students and we found that 99% of college students spend money on restaurants. We also wanted to We also want to take a look at uh, college students' behavioral habits. So we surveyed 86 UNC students and 80% of those students said that the first thing that they do when they wake up in the morning is check their phone. So so Snooze or Lose uses this to capitalize on college students' daily routine, which brings us to our product. So to give you a little bit of insight into our user journey, we met up with Deanna when she was taking a nap in the meditation room. She had already gone into the Snooze or Lose app and personalized her settings and chose which restaurants she would really like to get deals from. When she woke up from her nap, she was greeted with a banner of the option that if she woke up then, she would get 30 points to go directly into her point bank on the app. Since Deanna woke up, those 30 points were deposited into her point bank, and she had the option to use them at any of the restaurants featured. So she walked out of the meditation room, turned the corner, and was like, hmm, I really want me some Wendy's right now. She cashed in one of her coupons, and as you can see, she was made very happy with the result. So our primary revenue is coming from advertising. We partner with businesses and charge them a $25 a month subscription fee to be featured on our app and to promote their coupons, which in turn brings in customers through their door. Now we already have interest from, we already have interest from college students such as Deanna Fayed and Mark Goldback. Both of them said that snooze, they love that snooze lose integrates with their daily routine. And Mark Goldback specifically said that he sets four to five alarms per day and can't wake up to any of them. So he loves that snooze you lose gives him an incentive to wake up on time. So how does snooze you lose beat the competition? Traditional advertising like print and radio when measuring up against snooze you lose is just not as engaging to people like Deanna and also not as cost effective for businesses like Carolina Coffee Shop for using as an advertising channel. Comparing Snooze or Lose to similar products such as Groupon, Living Social, or Hooked, Groupon Living Social's business model is significantly different from our app, where they take a cut of the revenue generated by the deals, significantly decreasing the profit margins for businesses. And Hooked targets a customer base that is more in the moment looking for a meal at lunchtime or dinner time and not integrating into the daily routine of our <coughs> users. Now, our business plan is to break even, as you can see, in year four. This is based on the assumption that we'd be able to acquire 50 businesses in year one and then double that growth throughout years four and five. Now, to achieve this growth, our marketing plan is to launch in 2018 with partnering with local businesses to give us a, to be able to have a full functioning host of services when we start attracting users and to prove the concept that our app will generate enough businesses for the users or for the businesses. Now, expanding in the years two and three, we would look at high population urban areas and other college towns and implement the same strategies we used in the initial year. That is Snooze You Lose. Thank you for listening. Save more, snooze less. <laughs> I'm trying to understand here um, exactly what behavior are you trying to promote here? So our app mainly capitalizes on integrating into routine. So since students already use their alarm clock app to wake up every morning, 60% of people ages 16 to 34 use their phone as their primary timepiece. 
So we found that using, uh, integrating it into the alarm clock app and things such like that, such as that, um, that we like really capitalize on their routine. So when the alarm goes off, they get the option to get the points into their bank. So, yeah. How do you make sure they actually get up? Right. Yeah. So, yeah, which is why, like, you know, yeah. my, my, I was wondering, are you, are you trying to promote me waking up on time? Yes. Or just waking up, period? Because <laughs> yeah. I, I probably will wake up if I had a schedule. Yeah. I'm not wake up on time. Yeah. Well, if um, our product is also based on each time you hit snooze, the points decrease. Oh. Um, oh. Which we forgot. That 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 I apologize. <laughs> that was a, that was a huge yeah. oversight. Yeah. Um, <laughs> like, you're so punishing yes. me for I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> And, that, yeah. that's good. and then the points, are they redeemed for coupons? Yes. Okay, great. Because my only thing that I would warn you of is there's a whole lot of law around mm -hmm. gift cards that you yeah. don't yes. want to mean. No, they're redeemed for coupons and discounts at businesses, that's not gift cool. cards. So it seems like your advertisers are going to care how many consumers you have. Mm -hmm. And my question, with your name that you chose, how do you plan on getting consumers to find your product? So, for example, a lot of people will just say they do Google search. Um, if you do a Google search and you're looking for wake up, how would your name come up for that? Mm -hmm. My concern is that you may have to do more advertising to have that ad prompted for these people who are searching, which is going to cost you a lot more in the long run. Yeah. Um, I can answer that. I did some research into what SEO would look like for our product, and because it's so different, um, as long as they have an inkling as either to our product name or any sort of alarm, even like advertising for alarm clock systems, um, it's really cheap. There's just not a lot of competition as far as advertising digitally for alarm clocks. So your SEO, your search engine optimization, would they be doing a query of like alarm clocks for students, or what would they be? Doing? We would we would optimize for alarm clocks, um, money, reward, or, um, deals, discounts, coupons, ways to save money. Um, but mainly we would capitalize on alarm clock, and then snooze or lose, um, and then uh, rewards and coupons. And we also plan on using word of mouth and social media advertising a lot. We know that college students such as ourselves are often like really bombarded by Instagram ads and I know that I click on them a lot just thinking that there's someone's photo. Um, so we plan on using that to our advantage as well. I love the incentivization part of this. Um, you know, I'm addicted to open table. You know, I always make reservations because I want yeah. the points. Um, so let me get this clear. Are you, is this integrating with your device's native alarm clock? This is not an alarm clock replacement, correct? So it would be an alarm clock replacement. It is. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you guys know that this product exists in Ireland already? No. Oh, what's it called? Um, first up. First up. Well, let's take a look at that. It only came out recently, so I wasn't okay. was sneaking up the radar. <laughs> what is the. Um, What's your distribution plan? I mean, iOS, Android, are you looking at voice first technology? A lot of people now have Amazon Echo next to their bed and using that as their own plug. We would mainly look at um, most of the app stores, like um, the Android and um, iOS, and then expand with everyone. We'd start with just the usual route for an app. Any more questions for school students? How do you plan on keeping it fun? So I imagine that waking well, up to the same thing every day might get yeah. Well, we actually um, thought about partnering. I have a lot of friends that like make their own jingles. So we thought about partnering with like local creators, like bands, musicians, so that they could wake up to like a fun sound, but also the incentive that they get points and discounts. Um, and we also thought about integrating like little games, but a lot of people said that that would be annoying when they woke up. So we're kind of trying to gauge that out and survey. Do you clear yeah. that one? <laughs> I love that you guys uh, surveyed so many people. That's Thank you. the user behavior research. And mm -hmm. It's really awesome Thank that you got so many people to participate in that. Yeah. Yeah, I, I also use my phone as my alarm clock. Mm -hmm. It's the first thing I do, so I think this is actually a very solid product model and it's one that, you know, the idea of using, getting points and then buying off coupons, it's actually a very viable potential model. Is this, are, are you going to be required to be connected in order to, to use this? Uh, you're shaking your head now. No, you'd be, able, you'd be able to use it without any sort of LTE or um, Wi-Fi connection. Okay, good. That was, that was Trying to figure out if you know I was out camping and I needed for some reason I, lost my I don't have an internet connection. No. Okay. So on the broadcast and the concern, how do you stop people from cheating? 
Right, so we talked about that and we decided that we would only allow up to two alarms a day because we know we will have the, the work in the system cool. people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and so we decided, okay, so you need to get up once in the morning and then people might take one nap. Cool. So up to two is our limit. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you, Susan Luke.